It's Sunday evening at Tupelo's Harrisburg Baptist Church, and it doesn't look like a denomination in decline. While the SBC is reporting its lowest number of baptisms in six decades, the trend isn't exactly the same in northeast Mississippi. We've seen some growth in Lee County. In Edwamba County, it's pretty well stayed plateaued. In fact, the numbers tell the story. Over a five-year period, Lee County Southern Baptist churches saw increases across the board in baptism, Sunday school enrollment, and overall contributions. In Itawamba County, baptisms and enrollment among SBC churches dropped, while contributions increased. And in Pontotoc County over the past two years, increases in baptisms and offerings, but a slight drop in Sunday school enrollment. Mark Howard is director of the Lee and Itawamba County Baptist Associations. He says overall SBC pastors in this area stay on track theologically, but aren't afraid to try new methods to connect with those outside the church walls. Our pastors have stayed very conservative in their theology, but have been open-minded on the methodology that they use to reach the community. Jimmy Henry is pastor at Auburn Baptist Church. That church has seen steady growth in the nearly two years since he became senior pastor. Henry says it's important for Southern Baptist pastors locally and nationally to focus on what really matters. We allow those things, those numbers, to across our convention and our state and our local associations and in our individual churches to be a motivational factor to help us to sort of refocus, reposition ourselves to make sure we are grounded and fulfilling the Great Commission. Henry and other SBC pastors and church leaders believe the denomination is strong locally because churches of all sizes are among the first to respond whenever disasters such as April's tornado strike. That commitment to care not only in words but more importantly in actions many believe is the key to the denomination's future locally, nationally and internationally. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.